This week, what defines a sport? Fantastic faces. And International Cat Day! This is the front page. Hey everybody, welcome to the front page, the show where we talk about a lot of silly stories from the website reddit.com. My name is Samantha Garcia. And I'm Liz Hoffman. And uh, as you may have noticed, we are uh, in a different environment than usual. <laughs> this is not the norm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Welcome to what we are calling the home studio. Right. What I also call my home. Uh, improvisation Wednesday. Yes. 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 That's what we're going to call it. Yep. Yay. Yay. So this, welcome, this everybody. This is a plan. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming off without a hitch. I feel good about it. No worries. No let's, worries at all. Let's get to the drinking immediately. Yay! <laughs> Our favorite part anyway. Yes. This uh, this first one comes to us from an idiot's liquor mm. to the subreddit alcohol. Uh, this is the bocce ball cocktail, uh, which I, of course, have not made for you. I was going to say, what are the odds that we are actually going to get the cocktail that you have promised I us? I thought this time... Because we are actually happy. Your house now. There is no actual excuse. It was gonna happen. Because we're in your home. Yeah. Well, let's... Well, no, let's... I'm not sure if I should tell you the story first or if we should try the concoction first. Let's try the concoction first. All right. We're gonna let's, try the concoction let's do it. first. Ignorance is bliss. Yep. Uh, Cliff, if you will. Cliff did not cabana boy. Yes. It's going to bring us our cocktail. Thank you, Thank you sir. And there's one for yourself. Enjoy. From real glasses, you guys. Ooh, From real glasses. Look, it's actual glass. Because we're in my Fancy. home. Fancy. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Yay. Mm. Delicious. Like yeah. Uh, so, yes. So, uh, it's important to note that a bocce ball cocktail is uh, one and a half ounce vodka mm -hmm. to a half ounce amaretto Ooh. with orange juice and then a splash of soda water. Ooh. Seems simple enough, right? Right. So we I went to um, a local liquor store, my favorite liquor store, I dare okay. say, and uh, looked around, looked around, couldn't find amaretto, and then asked my uh, favorite employee at the liquor store, hey, do, where, where's the amaretto? Where do I find such things? Uh, and pause his, to say that I love that you have a favorite employee. I do. His face just fell, and he was like, we literally sold the last bottle we had yesterday, no. and we're not getting any more in today. And since I waited till the last goddamn minute to go pick up these supplies... <laughs> I, at this point, I honestly feel like if we were ever to manage to make the cocktail mm -hmm. that you had promised me, yeah, the world will end. It will Something literally terrible be the end of the world. It, uh, it would cause me great concern. Yes, great concern. deeply. So instead of having the bocce ball cocktail, which I hope to someday have, as it Because it sounds delicious. delicious it and sounds I great. love me some amaretto. And when you go on to the, uh, idiots, uh, the an idiot's liquor, which we are watching here on mm. our computer screen here, uh, you will see he garnishes it with like a cherry and an mm. orange wedge. Yeah, where's my orange wedge and my cherry? I couldn't find amaretto. <laughs> I was supposed to find produce. What? What? So Touche. What having fair point. It's basically a sparkly screwdriver. Done. It, that I'm not complaining about I that. I put in a little extra vodka since we didn't <laughs> have the amaretto. Yay. But I was able to find vodka and uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it immensely. I'm just wondering, what the hell liquor store runs out of Amaretto? Apparently it was kind of popular this week. I don't know. That's the weird. guy made it sound like a, a bizarre like number of bottles of Amaretto were sold this week. <laughs> and it was just like, we ran out. We never run out. We ran out. Well, it had to have been a there bizarre was, number. Because there was like it runs out of Amaretto. A space, like, not that this is a dusty store. That's not what I'm trying to say. But there yeah. was like a space on the clearly, shelf where clearly the Amaretto. the Amaretto should have been. And it was not. <laughs> that had room for more than one single bottle. He literally looked and he's like, that's usually where it is. It's not there right now. I'm just like, ah! Um, well, the and question is, when did the Idiot's Liquor video hit? Oh, ooh. oh, I don't know. Ooh. Perhaps I'm... now everyone's like, this is a kicky summer drink. We mm -hmm. should run out and get us some amaretto. Yep. Yeah. You make a fair point. I believe it. Well played, Idiot's Liquor. Well played. Way to beat me to the punch again. The literal punch. The act. Oh! See what I did? Oh, oh I see, see what you did there! <laughs> nice. Not tip yeah. of the cap. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Like it's Muppet Arms. Tiny Muppet yeah. Arms. Right. Tiny Muppet Arms. Tiny Muppet Arms. These are like T Rex Muppet Arms. Yes! Oh, it's still T Rex Arms. <laughs> a lot of Muppets. <laughs> we haven't even had that much to drink. I this know. is just us. I know. This is just who we are. <laughs> it's maybe time we accept that. It's gonna get worse. Oh, so I need worse. better. 
Right. Submitted by Why New to the subreddit videos called uh, Great Wall of Nigeria. Oh, okay. Yes. This is a, a table tennis match. Ooh. It is a 41 pass match, if I recall correctly. Yes, 41 shot rally. Uh, this is between Nigeria's Segun Toriola. Okay, first time I've tried to say his name. Well done. Well done. I feel like I he hope. gave it a good try. I hope. Uh, he was playing against Singapore's Ning Gao. And uh, this was during the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow uh, way back, way back in 2014. Oh my goodness, so long ago. Yes. Uh, this is how much of a dum-dum I am. <laughs> Number one. Can't tell. This is, because, uh, fun fact, the Olympics are happening right now. No. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. The Rio Olympics of 2016 are happening right now. Uh, so just the other day. Oh, 2016, that, not, not in 2020. That's important. I yes. think it's important to note what Very you're wearing now. Because I've been watching the ping pong, the table tennis, uh -huh. on the Olympic level, and just being like, I still kind of don't understand why this is an Olympic sport. Mm. I understand why it is a sport. But I don't understand why it's an Olympic sport, whatever. Agreed. So when I came across this clip, 41 volley, like, oh my god, it's very impressive. It is very impressive. I can do that. And even though it says, like, on the floor of the place that they are uh, playing, that this is Glasgow 2014, I was like, was this earlier today? <laughs> is this yesterday? Is this around that I missed while watching this live television coverage? Even though it fucking <laughs> it, says it on the floor. It literally says it yeah. on the floor. Yeah. And I believe... You're uh, pretty. I try. I do try. Uh, yeah, when you look at this on the YouTube, I believe it expressly mentions that this is the uh, Commonwealth Games. Uh, not probably. Really. No. Yes. But still, very impressive. Very impressive. No. Uh, I, admittedly, I can't do that. So I guess anything that I'm like, oh, I couldn't do that, sports-wise, would qualify as a sport, I feel like. Okay. So, so like, if an idiot could do it, then... Why isn't foosball a Olympic sport? Ooh. Is it just because it's not as popular in the rest of the world? I don't know. So, well, maybe maybe our definition should be if you can do it drunk, it doesn't count as a sport because I can foosball drunk. Oh, all right. Uh, I don't think I can do that drunk. What about billiards? Which I, I don't believe is an Olympic sport. I but was going to ask. It's like a high-level sport. Like, there's some championships, some world championships in the, in the pool and yeah, billiards. Yeah, but I feel like that you can do drunk because... Uh, could you're you? waving it around, you're eventually going to hit something. <laughs> I didn't say you could do it super well, but I feel like you could. <laughs> Submitted by Nipster underscore pay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So mm -hmm. Reddit gifts. This one is entitled Jenga Thug Life. Here we go. Imagine if you, it's important to watch their faces as they play the Jenga. Okay. I kind of, it's just, it's baffling. How, number one, is that possible? <laughs> and then, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, that kid's face is priceless. Because I'm not convinced the actual Jenga playing is real. real. Yeah. But I think his reaction is. Yeah. Like, in this moment, he definitely thinks this is real. No, that's a real reaction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fantastic. I didn't know a face could go that big. Right? He's like, it's Christmas morning. I'm amazed. How is it possible? But then, given his reaction, maybe it is real. It's people. People do things like that, right? Oh, I think it's physically possible, right? But the other guy doesn't have the same. The other guy is just kind of like, watch me. Uh, Whip and nene, guys. No big D. Yeah. Oh, like at this. No, because he goes out of frame. So I do kind of feel like there's a reaction on there. Mm -hmm. It's just not as it's extreme. Just, it's not as extreme. And he like goes over here. Yeah. And so he gets cut off. So we don't know what his face is doing. I suppose. I, I just, to me, it feels less like, I can't believe that work. And way more like, I pulled off this ha, huge frame. You think this is real? Yeah, that's, it feels more like that to me. See, I guess I'm just too trusting, because I'm like, oh, that's amazing. You're so nice. I, I'm not, though. I'm just dumb. <laughs> He's just so delighted. It's so I cute. do like that. I feel like this is like the magic of magic. Yes. You know? Like, yes. this is probably fake. Like most magic. Like close up magic. Yes. yes. And it's just like, I know that you've managed to hide that card up your sleeve. I don't care. No, 
because it's amazing. Yes. And that's, even if it is fake, there's a level of skill there. Yes. That I don't have. Mm-hmm. That's impressive. Why is it not a sport? A gri- oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Olympics committee. Close up magic. I would legit watch the shit out of that. Oh. I would watch the shit oh. out of that. So the first of my stories yes. is submitted by Three Frog Shit to subreddit funny. It's entitled She Said Yes. So our first picture here uh, <laughs> is your typical engagement photo. But <laughs> there's a twist. It, instead of a husband, she got a job offer. That's nice. Uh, she said yes. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> And uh, our and then third, third picture, <laughs> detailing I love the, that. the I love, love story. That. I love it so hard, I can't even stand it. And picture four, looking lovingly. Mm-hmm. That's sort of upside another. down yes. Spider-Man blanket yes. scenario. And I think I have that blanket. I think I bought it yes. in Arizona at some point. But I, like, I'm positive I have that exact blanket. It looks like fact. a nice blanket. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> Officially off the, the job, job market, market. with true. the uh, with the cu- curlers in the hair. The uh, oh, we just got out of bed. Me yeah. and my job offer. Ooh. Oh, you caught us in such an opportune time, but aren't we delighted? Didn't even see that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. we're so cute together. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, that was. <laughs> t- I love this girl. I want to be like besties with this girl. Yeah, because I love this. I'm only surprised I've not seen such a thing before. I am uh, shocked that no one else has done it, or at least that I haven't seen it. Because I've seen the one with the couple who's holding the burrito. Oh, Like the baby. Yes. That one I thought was That I greatly appreciated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that's, yeah, that's a little closer to my real life. I like burritos better than babies, quite honestly. Yeah. Burritos are delicious. And I can eat burritos. Mm -hmm. (laughs) They frown on you eating babies. Yes. It's not okay. Yeah. Just, I don't. Just so we're on the same page. To be fair, I'm okay. not in Vegas. <laughs> Samantha Garcia <laughs> in Vegas. I can just see the comments now. Well, I don't support a baby They either. put the cutest feet. I want to put them in the This is his little face. This is his face. Ah, well, as someone who has been single for quite a while, and as someone who has been unemployed, I love these from two angles. One, that yes, you do feel that level of elation when you've been unemployed and yeah. you've finally gotten a job, and you're like, I love this job, and I will protect it, and I will cuddle it. I might have it forever. And it's going to be the best. Yes. Everything is bright and rosy, uh. and the future is golden, and nothing is ever going to go wrong. <laughs> Much like engagements. Oh. Uh, and then, I've never been engaged, but I've had that job. I've, I've never I've been had engaged. That job many times. But I have been around a lot of engaged people. Right. This this will be the career. Right. This will be the one. This will change everything. Life is going to be sunshines and rainbows and unicorns from here on in, world. Yeah. Watch me now. Yeah. Yeah. And then also as someone who has been single for many, many years uh, and has many, many friends delightful friends who I have been very, very thrilled for when they got engaged. But also, uh, there comes a point when you're single where you just want to start putting those up on dartboards and just throwing it like, oh, look, another adorable engagement picture. (laughs) Tell us how you really feel. Hello, (laughs) wine. I feel like next next week I'm going to see a photo of say of you and two bottles of wine, like, bitches. (laughs) <laughs> we have an Instagram, right? It's true. <laughs> it's true. It's true. All right, everybody. Keep your eyes peeled. It's going to happen. This is happening. Ch- Challenge accepted. Excellent. Yes. Front page. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. <laughs> uh, our next story is called Happy International Cat Day. In case you did not know, I believe it was... Monday, Monday or Tuesday, okay. uh, was International Cat Day. I'm worried this about week. whatever this is. Uh, <laughs> it is submitted by Austin143 to subreddit. Oh, I like all. Okay. Yeah. No, all right. Same. I'm on board. What? You look like a kiwi. What is that doing? Please. 
Right, and uh, like at first glance, you would you'd be like, oh, that's a that's a really pretty kiwi. Wait. I like that you Wait. told me like beforehand. This is about a cat. This is gonna be a picture of <laughs> a cat. So you could be prepared. So I was a little bit prepared. Okay. I was not prepared for this level of cuteness. And I and as we have discussed uh, many times, I don't like cats. <laughs> I actually quite hate them. I feel like that could be like a subtitle of our show. <laughs> Instead of being a show about silly stories from the website Reddit, it's just going to be the front page. Liz does not like cats. <laughs> True that advertising. Sam cannot make a cocktail and Liz does not like cats. Is what we're going to call the show from now oh on. My God, it's, it's too long. It's, it's, it's too way long. too long. But I feel like that's what's going to be on our face. Don't so <laughs> oh my God. Here lies Samantha Garcia. She could not make the cocktail make that them. was promised. That cat is adorable. It is adorable. And again, my point in saying I don't even like cats, but this is so cute. So cute. Look at it. Look at his little tiny head going, hey guys, I'm a kiwi. Why'd you put a sticker on me? What? What's going on? Yeah. I feel like something's happening. Yeah. But... I feel like if cats could understand, like, uh, looking at their own kitty pictures later in life. <laughs> Like, this is a baby picture? Yes. Like, this is the cat version of that baby picture that all mothers took of you naked in the tub? Yes, like dressed as a sunflower or yes. something. Yes. Why do people do that to their kids? You know what? If, if you can't do it to tiny babies, then who can you do it to? <laughs> you can't do it to grown-ups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you can't do it to tiny babies. Yeah, they Because it's adorable! Because <laughs> it's adorable! Your significant other is proud on it you. Typically, yes. Try to dress them as a sunflower. Yes. <laughs> so, but uh, babies, I mean, no, they don't know any better. They don't know any better. Yeah. They yeah. think those are just clothes. Yeah. And with the double bonus of them being able to embarrass them deeply with it yeah. later on in life. Yeah. 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 Should I feel like I would have the same reaction? If this were a baby with the little kiwi sticker on his behind, I'd oh still be God. like, adorable. Oh, so cute. It would be too cute. So cute. cute. That would be equally adorable, yes, yeah. I have to say. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's a, you know, in seven years, when this cat has grown, and <laughs> looking back, <laughs> you're like, oh, my youth. Oh, look how tiny and fuzzy I was. And yeah. Fuck you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I imagine that's going to be a bitter cat. It's <laughs> he's a cat. That's... Are all cats bitter? I think so. Okay. Are they not? I don't know. I don't know. I've never eaten one. <laughs> oh. oh. I got a million of them. Oh. oh, sorry. Samantha Garcia, eater of babies. Cats. So that kind of leads me into my final story. Oh dear. Yes. Uh, which is called Bigger Cat Means Better Cat. And it was submitted by Ash Brown 3, also to subreddit. Aww. Although I don't know if I agree with the subreddit. Oh. What? <laughs> what? Look how giant the cat is! What? Oh my god, it's such a big cat. Maybe that's a very small person. Well, it is a very small person. I mean, it's a child. That's that's what children are. But she's are. taller than the counter. Yeah. Oh, good point. I didn't think about that. So well, right. So it's actually like a... She's regular size. A regular size child. Uh, that cat is huge. Yeah. That cat is massive. Oh. And that my first question when seeing that was not, aww, which it normally is yeah. on subreddit. Aww. Yeah. Uh, was... Holy fuck! Is that real? Is uh, this is this is the is one where I question, question is is this a real cat? It did not even occur to me. That or that is this photoshopped? Ooh, that was my question. Real cat or not real cat? Do you think which part of this photo do you think might be photoshopped? Well, I don't know. It's All just a fucking huge cat. It is a huge cat. But so I'm like, do they exist like that? I don't. know. Oh, is there like a particular breed of cat that right. is that large? I don't know. It's is like a that, Godzilla cat. Or is, is it just normally sized for that kind of just cat? Just uh, voluptuous. Yeah. But, but that seems pretty. But that's like, that large. That's a large cat. That's, that's like a dog. That's like a tiny bear. That is a tiny bear. That's like, a tiny bear cat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, the look on his face, just, I love oh. it. It's so like, fuck you guys. I hope if nothing else in this photo is photoshopped. I want that face to be real. I want that face to be real. I want that to be a real cat who's just like, what? Why? Like, God, you guys are the worst. Just the worst. 
Like, would you put me down, Patricia? Yeah. I am tired of being held. Do not understand how uncomfortable this is. This is not fun. Yeah. I will kill you in your sleep. Oh, and I think that cat could do it. Oh, yeah. That is a disgruntled cat. That is yeah. a cat that will claw your eyes out. Well, if he's that bad, he may not actually want the Just work. Just one good swipe. That's true. To claw someone's eyes out. <laughs> or so I've read. <laughs> Not, not that you've done it. Uh, yeah, so my question is, real cat or fake cat? I don't know. I would have to see another photo of the cat. Of the same cat. Same cat. Yes. Even with the same child. Right. Yeah. In front of these green cabinets, but not with her hoisting the cat into the air. No. Like, I would like a couple. Maybe some action shots. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. If it is real, I kind of... Even though I would probably die for it, I kind of want to go. I just want to do the belly. It's so funny. I mean, I have allergies, so I will literally then die. But <laughs> look how fluffy. It's so fluffy. <laughs> fluffy. I understand the impulse. Sh- I understand. <laughs> I feel like this child had a similar impulse. <laughs> I'm just like, I can't, I'm too small, I can't get the cat to the face. I want to go, you! But I'm trying. I just don't have any arm strength yet. <laughs> well, well, that's the episode. Yeah. Did, I'm not even we, finished my cocktail yet. I know, it's because we got giant cocktails this time. Because are they larger are, than usual? They are larger than usual because we're in real glasses. We have yeah. like actual real glasses, so. I couldn't tell. Uh, yeah. This is going to hit us in like 10 minutes. Ah. And then, it's going to be fun. Uh, good thing I'm already in my hole. Uh, damn. Ha ha. Ha. So uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us here in the home studio. Yes. And thank you for hosting us. Thanks for coming. Today. This yeah, is, I know this is a little out of the way, uh, yeah, but we all no made, it, made it happen. Kapow. Uh, everyone at home, I hope you'll find us on the Twitter and Facebook mm-hmm. and Instagram. Yes. And we're going to be posting some wacky photos. Yeah. It's coming. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So make sure you follow us so you can find out all about that. Uh, while you're at it, also please subscribe to the channel. Button's right over there. Subscribe Ta-da. to it so you can uh, hear about more of our silly mm-hmm. antics as Ta-da. we continue to explore the reddit.com. Indeed. And uh, I'm, clearly I'm very drunk because I'm just rambling and rambling and <laughs> rambling and rambling. Cut it out. Cut it out. Uh, just cut it short. Yep. Uh, thanks, everybody. And uh, we'll see you next week. See you next week.